Hey guys, I wanted to talk more about rabbit food because it's what's on my mind right now. We have 24 uh, very fast growing rabbits in cages right now. And we go out and we check on them about every two hours, especially in the heat, especially where we have quite a few rabbits in each cage. And so we have got to be deadly sure that they have food and water. And I wanted to show you that these are rabbit pellets. They're a fortified rabbit food that's mainly made out of alfalfa, but it has other things in it. And they're very small and they can fall, they can be scooped out, sometimes rabbits can be very messy. These are called packer pellets and they're also made out of alfalfa and you can get some that also have oats in them. What I use these for is that I always have these in the cage because they can't push them through the wires. If they scoop them, they, they don't fall anywhere. And rabbits are like any other creature, they'll eat what they want to eat first and then if they think there's something in their food that is tastier than what they're finding at the top, they'll mess with it. But at this stage of growth, where they're growing very, very fast, if they don't always have something to eat, they can get malnourished and they can die. So these are my rescue remedy. And it's a packer pellet, it's a, pa it's, it's a hay cube that's meant for horses that are packing in and out of a wildlife area because these are weed free. So they're not packing weeds in and out. It has to be certified weed free in, in order for these to be made and you can find these at your local feed store. So, um, I always keep these in the pen because they're fortified. They have everything that the rabbit needs. I give them um, weeds and tree uh, tripping, trimmings and things like that and vegetable uh, vegetables from the garden. But I always have these in here because if I need to be gone for a couple hours and, and um, there's nobody here to check on them, I want to know for absolute sure that they have food in there and so this is what we do and I wanted to show you how they're doing Paige put an awful lot of them in there so this is how they're doing this cage is warm before not warm a little bright before noon and we need to get them a piece of cardboard in there but you can see we have the pellets in this one and then we have the hay cubes in there and now I'm gonna go pick them some greens I really like these waterers because they don't leak and they attach to the cage. They're just super, super nice. I think they're, they're galvanized metal or something. And um, these guys aren't real big. The hard thing with rabbits is that you wanna butcher the ones that are big because they're ready to be butchered. But if you're saving them for breeders, if you're saving any of them for breeders, you wanna save the big ones for breeders. So it means you're actually waiting to eat the runts. And here these messy guys are in here. Did they mess up the water already again? Um, no, actually they haven't. Good. It looks like those ones might be out of pellets and I might need to scoop them back down. And I'm tempted, I have bigger feeders than these, bigger than this, and I'm tempted to go get them. The reason I haven't put them on yet is because I'd rather not cut my cage to have a bigger feeder if I don't have to, but I may need to. And if you're in the business of raising rabbits for meat, you do want to have um, bigger feeders. The one thing is, move over Benny, move. I don't want the rabbit uh, food back by their pea spot. Rabbits are like pigs or even dogs where if they have a, a choice they will poop all in one spot. So rabbits are, are exactly the same. They'll poop and pee in one spot and I don't want their food back there in that spot. All right, Kai, we need to get a couple pieces of plastic put in here for them to rest on. Okay. And I'm always changing cages. I'm always changing the situation, which is why I really like to hold on to everything that I have because that way it doesn't cost me anything to change what needs to be changed so that it functions better yeah, for the animals. Yeah, 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 on that you have a ton? Okay, yeah, here's the quail. They also work just fine in uh, rabbit hutches. And we have many, many eggs this morning. We have little trays of sand for them to dust bath in, and they're very happy with that. When you make your creatures happy with their home, they don't fight as much, they don't waste as much food, and so we're working on that really hard. They have good shade here. 
and plenty of water, plenty of food, lots of sand. And so they're very happy. They, they're not picking on each other. They're not overcrowded. We have three, three more. I don't, careful. We have three more we could bring up here, but we have them back by the cabin at the Airbnb right now so that people can kind of experience the sounds that they make and, and that kind of thing. There's, there they are. Got two more. Good job. And there's a couple over there too. We really enjoy these eggs. You have to have a special tool to cut the tops off. Um, if you're going to use them just as regular eggs, but they also make fantastic pickled eggs, hard boiled eggs, and especially hard boiled eggs. So, I'm really happy with how things look this morning. But I wanted to tell you about those packer pellets or the packer um, cubes just because if you're going to be gone for a bit and you want to make sure that they're, they're okay, it's really smart to have something that they can't push through the wires because they, they, they are messy. Oh, and I've got the video almost finished up of the hotbed greenhouse. Almost got that video up. But I'm not sure if I should post it now or wait until I have the plastic on. But I'm not putting the plastic on until September, so it makes me feel like I'm kind of wasting time for you guys. I feel like I should kind of get it up now. Anyway, there we go. Hopefully that was helpful. These are my favorite feed bins because you can stack them. They're easy to get into. I will put the link to that in the Amazon, the Amazon link to that. And if you purchase some through that link, it helps our um, our family um, through that affiliate share with Amazon. But we also have uh, ebooks about rabbits on our Etsy store, so make sure to go check that out. We'll talk to you later.